For decades, the University of Miami has paired students with Holocaust survivors, and it has led to special bonds between participants. And as the years went on, it became more important to preserve their interactions and stories. The result is an hour-long documentary called My Survivor, produced right here in South Florida that is debuting at the Miami Jewish Film Festival this week. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo has more. Jackie Arbadon was a senior last year at the University of Miami when she enrolled in the Holocaust Survivors Internship Program, a partnership with the Jewish Community Services of South Florida. So it was a two semester long class where you signed up and you were paired with a Holocaust survivor that lived in Miami. So I signed up and I was paired with Fred Mulbauer. Fred is now 89 years old. How can I forget my mother who I saw taken to the gas chamber? My father, who was worked to that, they would have kept on beating him. How can I forget that? I could still see the emotion in his eyes, and you know, when he talked about the last time he saw family members, he teared up as if it was happening now, and I could see the raw emotion in his eyes. Local Miami director Jerry Levine was contacted by the director of the program to make the movie. The result is an hour-long documentary called My Survivor, premiering this week at the Miami Jewish Film Festival. We saw an opportunity to tell, to do a movie really about the lessons of the Holocaust, but told through the lens of students, of young people. You're usually hearing about it from experts or you're hearing about it from the survivors themselves, but what does the next generation have to think about it? What do young people have to say about what happened? And how does that reflect on the world that we live in today and the world that they're inheriting? The film was shot just after Charlottesville, a violent clash between white supremacists and counter-protesters. It's a world that the survivors thought they left in their rearview mirror. Yeah. They thought we were past all this. Well, are, are we past it? They are ready to kill the Jews. If they wouldn't be afraid, they would kill them tomorrow. What do you want people to get out of this film? Awareness, education. I want people to you know, hear these stories firsthand from the survivors as well as our experiences with them. and you know, always remember the raw emotion that you see from these survivors as well as us and hopefully pass that down for future generations. And your relationship with your survivor continues? Mm-hmm. I'm lucky enough to have stayed in Miami after graduating, so I'm glad I get to see Fred and, you know, tell him what's going on in my life. And he's a very active person, too, a very active, almost 90-year-old, so it's nice to kind of share our lives and what we're up to. As the years tick on, these brave survivors want to make sure their story stays very much alive. This is a great fear of the survivors. You know, once we're gone and there isn't firsthand testimony, who's going to tell the story? And this movie gets into that also. And, and there's a hopeful message in that, I think. My Survivor premieres at the Miami Jewish Film Festival on Thursday night and then another showing on Sunday. For more information, go on to our website at cbsmiami.com. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News.